In the distant future, a human spacecraft discovered a mysterious planet. The surface of the planet is covered with a gel-like liquid, which, scientists call Solaris, and has launched an in-depth study of it. But soon, the spacecraft lost contact with the Earth, and the last message sent by, Jai Balian asked Chris to rush to Solaris. A strange phenomenon appeared on the spaceship. After a long hibernation, Chris managed to reach Solaris. The spacecraft hovered quietly in orbit around the planet. Chris entered the interior of the spacecraft, and saw a lot of blood on the ground. Chris, followed the blood trail to the freezer and found Jai Balian's body. Suddenly, Chris noticed movement. Chris followed the voice and found Snow. According to Snow's description, Jai Balian committed suicide for some reason. The rest of the crew either died, or disappeared. He and Gordon were left, on the ship. Facing Chris' inquiry, Gordon acted extremely panicked. Chris, who was looking for clues alone, accidentally discovered a little boy, but when he chased after him, the boy had disappeared. Faced with Chris questioning, Snow instead suggested that he locked the door when he went to sleep at night, because some unexpected things would happen. Chris never imagined that the next encounter would completely subvert his cognition. The mysterious planet caused the crew members of the spaceship to commit suicide one after another. Chris is about to be the next target. Chris dreamed of his long dead wife Rhea, and everything seemed so real. Chris woke up suddenly, he saw a terrible scene. The dead Rhea was right in front of his eyes at this moment. Chris thought it was an illusion, but the real touch in Rhea's memory of the two, made Chris unacceptable. Chris couldn't tell who the person in front of him was. Chris tricked Rhea into the escape pod, and threw it into the universe. Snow, who was passing by, looked indifferent. He said that everyone on the spaceship had experienced this strange phenomenon. Jai Balian fell into madness because of seeing his dead son, and finally chose to commit suicide. That same night, Chris dreamed of Rhea again. Chris woke up the next day and saw Rhea reappearing. Chris decided to accept Rhea and bring Rhea back to Earth. However, this decision was strongly opposed by Gordon. Gordon believes that if a new intelligent species is brought back to Earth, it will inevitably lead to disaster. Under Chris' repeated pleas, Gordon finally told the truth. The planet Solaris has magical powers, which can transform the people most longed for in human dreams into entities. That is to say, Rhea who suddenly appeared, she not only has life, but even has the memory of her body. But it does not belong to human beings. If it is brought back to the Earth, it may cause a devastating blow to the Earth. Snow found through analysis that these sudden visitors are composed of atoms, and the particle accelerator on the spacecraft can completely decompose the visitors. Rhea couldn't understand what they were saying. Under Chris' explanation, Rhea is not human at all. Rhea couldn't accept that Chris had exiled his former self. Several people watched Rhea leave alone. When Chris found Rhea, she had committed suicide. Gordon said that might be the best outcome. In the next second, Rhea's body convulsed. Rhea's skin is recovering at breakneck speed. There is no way to destroy a visitor created by Solaris other than a particle accelerator. Although Rhea was successfully revived, she thought about suicide. Chris firmly opposes Rhea's suicide. Since Chris ran away from home, Rhea's true self chose to commit suicide. Chris wants to make up for his mistakes. When Chris woke up the next day, he found Rhea's last words. Rhea tells Chris not to blame Gordon. Angry Chris found blood on the ceiling. Chris opened it and found Snow's body inside. So who is the Snow who is alive? The two asked about Snow, and Snow said that the deity was out of fear. He tried to kill him but was killed instead. Gordon proposed to dismantle Snow as well. Snow was not afraid and suggested that they run for their lives. Because the spaceship is being pulled towards Solaris by gravity, the two decided to let Snow go. When the two were getting ready, Chris suddenly fell into confusion. In the end, Chris chose to stay, while Gordon rushed to Earth in a spaceship. Over time, the spaceship fell into Solaris under the force of gravity. Hearing Rhea's call, Chris opened his eyes. Chris didn't know if he was alive or dead. But finally being able to reunite with Rhea, everything seemed less important. With the help of Solaris, Chris and Rhea live together forever with the existence of memory.